This, the dramatic moment Jody Chesney's killers were caught. The footage released as 19-year-old drug dealer Svensson Ongakui was sentenced to at least 26 years in prison for fatally stabbing 17-year-old Jody. His accomplice, Aaron Isaacs, will spend 18 years in jail. The 17-year-old described as a willing and enthusiastic supporter. Substantial sentences which pleased Jody's close friend Clara Sharp who was there the night she was killed. So happy, overjoyed that, you know, uh, I had to resist cheering when the judge sentenced them because, you know, they deserve it. They deserve all the time they get in there. They don't deserve short sentences and they don't deserve anything less. Jody Chesney had no connection to gangs. A victim of mistaken identity, she was sitting in a park with friends when she was stabbed in the back. The court heard just how many people's lives have been affected by the murder of Jodie Chesney. Fifteen heartbreaking victim statements were read out from friends and family, describing the pain and anxiety they've been feeling since her death. Ribbons in Jodie's favourite colour were tied outside court to remember her, a bright and kind young girl. Everything you've seen in the papers and the news about her is, is true. She was one of a kind. She didn't know that she was this special. She never would have guessed that she would have had this impact on everyone. There's not a day goes by that we don't struggle. Not a day goes by that we don't think about her or think what she would have been doing now. Jodie Chesney's family say they're left broken. The life of someone so funny, silly and talented needlessly cut short. Charlotte Lomas, Sky News.